Alright, it turns a second to slow down a bit. But um, we'll play this one. Everything's gone. Looks like the uh. Can't do that though. Yeah, we got one healer. Hope you drew another. Can I actually res it? That will invariably lead to the death of uh invariably lead to the death of uh Necro. I want to take the risk. The odds are good that he will not have drawn it. And it turns a card. Really stinky he did though. But we'll see. If he's smart, he'll uh, run over and just whack the Necro and KO him. Because the fact that I didn't do anything about the priestess there, like drop the soul bomb or anything, um, should indicate to him that I don't have any healing. And I only turned one card, so. Though, frankly, my odds of drawing another um, healing item with my one card actually bet fairly decent. It's about it's, uh, one in three. I have two priestesses left, and I also have two soul bombs. Um, so it's like four out of 15 items, roughly. He only has a 1 out of uh, 18 chance. Oh, it's just more like 1 out of 12. 2 out of 12, I guess. He, drew, he, he turned 2 cards, I think. I think it's 2 out of 12. So like a 16% chance. So he should have a 16% chance of uh, getting a second shaman. Or the third shaman. Yeah.
All right. Yeah, I'm just fooling around with uh, fooling around with that one. A smidge. Tabby can trade plus one for plus two and but but ultimately it's a plus it's basically an even trade because I'll get the necro um, Probably the best move that you had. As annoying as it is, but I did not die another killing at him. And believe me, it's pretty annoying. <laughs> That's okay. He's got one shaman left. Um, so I think. Just throw a bunch of guys on the board and, uh,. Hello, Shannon. Um, or Shadow. Well, the best way to threaten the shadow is to stick a, uh, a sworded impaler on the map and say what's up. And also having the shadow early, or sorry, having the wraith early is good because the wraith is your best protection against um, It is your best protection against uh, shadows turning on it, turning your units. Because if they do, then um, you just beat them and you create a crazy powerful rate. Interesting. Well, it actually benefits me to just buff to uh, to develop now. He's down he's down to one um one shaman, which should be very easy to pick off when the time comes. Let's move right there. There. So she'll not heal the button once so. That way, the priest just covers all the units. I need to think about this monkey warlock turn. Because I am the ragged chosen this game. Ragged, ragged, ragged Jake. So many threats on the board. I sort of his last, uh, Sort of last soldier. The nice thing is it's on the deploy tile. Um, so if I kind of change the point of attack, it won't be so bad.
I only need that witch on the board, so I can stop some things. Fortunately, the scout isn't quite enough to stomp the uh, the axe since he gets close enough. But I'd love to get some good uh, value out of this chicken. Yeah, he's pre-jarred, and I knew that was going to happen, but. If I can chip away at this boulder here, the spies are kind of causing me problems, but it's okay. You can chip away when he comes to attack. Uh, I've got a chance. I'm just really glad he didn't try to move the soldier a little closer before uh, sandwiching it. Otherwise, I could have had massive problems, because this is like the farthest away it could possibly have gotten. Sword, right? Yep. This chief is not getting sorted. Interesting. I'll come back to this one. I'm not going to play this turn today. It's too complicated. I thought he was going to drop the shadow. Oh, sorry. Yeah, he's going to drop the... I thought he was going to drop the rage on that square. And I was going to be like, uh, crap. Because I, I hadn't seen that possibility. It's a good thing. <laughs> well, I still have no units, but I got the better of that trade slightly. Kind of an even board. Kind of an even board. Alright, let me take my break.